Stacey Donovan here. I hope you've enjoyed listening to The Space this week. On Sundays, I like to sit back and reflect on one of my favourite episodes from the week. Here's a little gem from the last seven days. Do you have money dysmorphia? It's a new phrase, but it's very relatable. Money dysmorphia happens when someone has a distorted view of their finances, and social media has a lot to do with it. 43% of Gen Z and 41% of millennials say they suffer from a flawed perception of their finances, according to a study. Let's face it, there's a lot of bad news about the economy all around us. We're surrounded by warnings and doomy predictions. And it's true, a lot of us are financially struggling. But is it really as bad as you imagine? Let's compare our attitude to our bank account to the attitude we have towards our own bodies. One day, we can look in the mirror and feel okay. Another day, we look in the mirror and feel awful. It's the same body. So what has changed your perception? Ask yourself this. How do you feel when you hear a bad news story about the economy? How do you feel when you have to pay your tax bill? How do you feel the day before your payday? Probably pretty shitty. That's okay, as long as it doesn't overshadow your financial situation. Are you letting one bad money day drive your financial decisions? According to experts, the best remedy for money dysmorphia is facts, not fear. Every time you want to avoid your banking app, lean into it. Don't trust the way you feel on a bad day. Rely on facts, figures and data to make your decisions. We all learn not to trust how we feel about our bodies years ago. The same applies to our finances. We're not saying you're a secret millionaire, but it might not be as bad as you imagined. Thanks for joining me in the space. It's great to have you here. I'll be back tomorrow with some more mindfulness. Space out.